Hey everybody, it's Seth Jones, Editor-in-Chief of Golf to Magazine. I'm at the 2016 Golf Industry Show here in San Diego. I'm being joined by Kyle Miller of BASF. Kyle, I know you guys are busy over there at the booth, so I appreciate you coming over to the Golfing booth to chat with us. Glad to come by. Uh, you know, one thing I kind of wanted to talk to you guys about, uh, I, I know you guys do uh, are, in, are into this, native areas. A lot of people think you can just get, let a native area go and it's going to be maintenance free, but uh, that's not really the case. There's some, some weed control that needs to go on there. Uh, talk to me about that and, and how, how is BASF uh, trying to tackle that problem? Yeah, I think, like you said, people take for granted that they can just let an area grow up, mow it a couple times, and things are going to be like they want them to be. They quickly find out that they're overrun with weeds. And so one of the things we've been trying to do at BASF is educate people on putting together some kind of a program approach to controlling weeds in those areas. And that starts early in the spring with putting down a pre-emergent and a broadleaf weed material. And then maybe during the summer, doing search and destroy and trying to control the problem weeds. And in the fall, repeat what you did in the spring. And we find as a rule, that doing that, we can control about 90% of the weed problems that a superintendent might have. I feel like sometimes, you know, the superintendent obviously has that under, no, no, as aware, but I wonder if it's like the general member thinks that, oh, you got this area that's native area, why are you, why are you bothering with it, you know? Yeah, I, I think too, they, they think that, hey, this is an area that you don't have to mow as much, maintain as much, we're going to save money here. But I think at the end of the day, you find out you've got to put some maintenance into it, some inputs. You've got to spend a little money to get it so that it, it, uh, it enhances the golf course, the members are happy. A lot of times on golf courses, you sort of have to pick and choose. Do you want it to be an area where they can go in, find their ball, and hit out? Or do you want it to be an area where if they hit it into that area, they just need to take an unplayable uh, and then uh, you know play, play the rest of the hole. So um, it, it just depends what you're after with regard to that native area. I find my golf ball in that area often. Yeah. So uh, how's the booth been for you guys over at, uh, Every time I walk by, it's been pretty packed. You guys got an oxygen bar over yes, there? Yeah, we're having a lot of fun. We've got the fitness equipment. We've got an oxygen bar that I can't believe how overrun it is with superintendents uh, getting a little spike of uh, oxygen to, to make it through the rest of the day. And we were giving away uh, Fitbits earlier. So, uh, yeah, it's been, been uh, well attended. Sure. Good show. Yes, good, absolutely. Good. Okay. Well, Kyle, thanks again for coming by. Uh, appreciate all you guys do for, for us over at Golfdom. And uh, we'll be back over there at your booth. Be sure to stop by uh, and see these guys next time you're at the show. This is Kyle Miller with BASF. I'm Seth Jones. Thanks for watching Golfdom TV.